Okay, we will start. First of all, these three jumpers will come to this short press conference after this one round team competition for ski jumping World Cup here in Lahti. And this will be live broadcasted at the websites of the Lahti Ski Games and I don't know wherever. And also on the FIS website. So most of the people are looking at that already and in South Africa, wherever they like. We have here uh, on the third position today, Team Germany, and we have a representative from that team, Mihail Neumeyer here. Mihail, uh, I heard that, the, or I actually I was looking that from the speaker's point of view, that it was quite changing uh, weather and quite changing winds all the time. Uh, was it difficult to make the jump today? Um, no, it was not much wind, but it was changing every time and it was not easy for the jury to, to make a good competition, a fair competition. But they tried their best and yes, now we have one round. We are sorry for the suppliers, that's only one round, but it was a long, long round, one and a half hours I think. And so it's, it's good to break after the first round. Your jump was 124 meters. Are you satisfied with your own performance today? Yes, that was a good one. Uh, I have good good conditions, a good, good jump and I can put the German team to the third place. So we are happy about this and I'm happy about the jump. Third place today. What about Sunday's competition? Are you uh, eager to get on the, the top points regarding the Nordic tournament, the first competition there? I'm not looking for the podium, but I hope that I can make some good results in the next four for turn, uh, tournament stations. Maybe under the best 10 jumpers, that's, that's my goal, my big goal. And to, to get a lot of points for the World Cup ranking, and I hope I can do this very well. What about the rest of the German team? What are the goals for the rest of the season? I, I, I mean the Nordic tournament and also for the ski flying world championships, your own goals and for the German team. Yes, now we have the, the Nordic tournament. Everybody wants to, to show that he's training hard and can jump good. And then there's ski flying world championship in Planica on the biggest hill of the world. And also the German team wants to, to jump good there and maybe to make a medal at the team competition. In the single competition it's not so easy because the Austrians and some Norwegian fly very good, so we look for the team competition and there could be a chance to make a medal. Okay, thank you. We had no mind and then, then second today was Team Austria with 483.6 points, point, that means three points behind the winning team. And we have uh, Martin Koch here, welcome. Your jump today, 121 meters, you say that a lot of variation in the winds. How did it feel to uh, sit down there on the gate and wait for this uh, certain place to make the performance today? Uh, yeah, it's uh, quickly, uh, pretty hard to, to wait, uh, up, but it doesn't matter if there's wind or not. Uh, when the green light comes, you have to go down and uh, concentrate on the jump. Uh, I try to do it and I'm um, satisfied with my jump. I was looking at, as I said, from the speaker's point of view, the competition and a lot of jumpers, when they came down, they were really feeling really cold. What about you? Yeah, it was the same with me. It's, it's really cold and the wind makes it even colder. So your fingers begin to freeze and your nose is running, but that's uh, our sport. As far as I know that you don't have that much clothes under the suit, so it's not that warm at all. Yeah, that's uh, what comes with it. Yeah. Uh, what about the future plans regarding uh, these uh, ski flying world championships? Uh, I'm looking forward to the ski flying world championships. Uh, I like the hill and uh, last three weeks I was uh, visited at the Olympics, so uh, I have to do something this season to make it at a good end. And, um, yeah, when I jump like today, I think I'm in a good shape. The Austrian team is really hard and really, really strong team. What about tomorrow in the Nordic tournament, first competition here in La? I guess we have uh, at least four really strong guys. Uh, last year's winner, Peter Stegenzauer, uh, didn't jump till yet. He was a little sick, but uh, he's in a good shape and he will do his best. And uh, also the other guys. Uh, we're really strong and we try to win it once again. 
Yeah. What about yourself? Your own goals? Uh, yeah, try to to jump good, to prepare for planet. Uh, I think I'm not in the position to say uh, to jump on the podium uh, in the overall, but maybe uh, in Norway I like the others more. So we will see. Okay. Right, thank you. And then the winning team today with three points ahead of uh, Team Austria and the representative from the Team Norway, Tom Hilde, will come. Thanks. How did it feel to be on the top podium today? It was so nice to finally beat the Austrians and the Germans again. And, uh, it was just awesome. So that's that's quite rare this season. Yeah, it's the first time uh, this season in a team competition that we're beating them, so it was really good. What about you? Was it uh, hard to wait up there on the hill and uh, waiting and waiting and waiting uh, to find a uh, suitable uh, pace for the jump today? Uh, of course, you're getting cold, cold and stiff and that's uh, not fun, eh? but uh, you know that when they are jumping, they are probably waiting till the conditions are good. And then you know that uh, they are not just throwing you out in bad conditions and that's good. What is your opinion regarding this wind and cake compensation system which was used here today? Uh, we really love it. It's uh, so perfect. Um, uh, it makes it uh, much more fair and uh, it's also easier for the team to uh, run the competitions. Um, yeah, it's uh, no bad things to say about it. So you hope that it will remain as a permanent solution? Yeah, of course, when we're having uh, a better system than the one they have been using, then you have to use it. There are no bad things about the new system. What about Mihail and uh, Martin? What about that wind co compensation and cake compensation system? How, do you like it or not? I, I like the new system because it's the same like he says. Now um, it's easier for the jury to make the competition to, to react if there's changing conditions or if too much speed you can change the gate, that's no problem and uh, the, the wind factor so you can make the, the jumps fairer, easier and everybody knows who he is and it's not only to have luck, it's to jump. Yeah. What about Martin? Yeah, like the two guys said, uh, I think it's uh, positive too, maybe they have to recalculate a little bit and uh, those conversations, yeah. yeah, a little bit, but I think uh, the safety aspect is more than it was, and also the fairness. So for me, it's it's quite good. Okay, so three zero your votes. I will inform the FIS and through the websites it will be informed to the place to make the right decisions. From the speaker's point of view, it's quite complicated still, but anyway, I I, I think that's much more fair. It doesn't okay. matter if it's 3 0, if it was uh, 11 to 1 the last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the Austrians agree now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Martin will take care of us. Okay. Do you have any further questions for our three jumpers here? Hi. Tom Hilde from the winning team Norway, Martin Koh from the silver team from Austria, and team Germany, Mihail Neumayer. If that's not the case, so thank you, gentlemen. And good luck for tomorrow's competition and for the rest of the season. Thank you.